up sim racers this is TJR sim here and looking at some Goodyear tires it's kind of a small box or small tires no kidding so greatest name in rubber Goodyear so they came out with shoes they have a shoe line it's been around for a while you probably may have seen it on a couple other channels of reviewing a I think a white pair and a black pair going around I didn't get a review copy. I bought my own because I was impressed with the reviews and thought they were pretty cool. And I was looking for sim, some sim racing shoes. So let's dive into these a little bit and see. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing an unboxing because I think it's a pretty nice box. Uh, kind of has a good, uh, I don't know, a good, a good presentation to you about you know how they taking care of their shoes. Good year, all stamped on the tissue paper here. As you can tell, I've taking them out already once but that's them pretty nice actually they're done up really nice they got the black with the red striping on it instead of the white striping what I see go around but they're not done up too too uh, too gaudy looking um, got the Goodyear logo here which looks pretty cool Goodyear on the side logo on the back got it on the tongue and then in the shoe itself, as well as, you've guessed it, Goodyear on the sole. Which, you know, you'll never see that and that'll be black eventually. But pretty cool. Uh, not, I mean, it does have quite a bit of Goodyear logo on it, but it doesn't like, it's not like the old Puma shoes with a big Puma, you know, across here. You know, it's, it's, it's a little bit more subtle. Uh, so, yeah, not too bad. I'll pull out the other one here. Well, get side to side, and you may ask yourself, why would you buy shoes specifically for sim racing? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we're addicts. That's why. We are. We just can't help us help ourselves. Sim racers can't help themselves. They gotta buy all kind of gadgets, man. That's pretty cool. Good gear here. Official Goodyear licensed product. The greatest name in rubber. Nice. Uh, slip resistance and a anti whatever that says. Anyway, um, so why would you get them? So I I run around in I have some uh, Club Sport Fanatec Club Sport V3 pedals, and I like the uh, D curved pedals on mine, and they hurt your freaking feet after a while. Put a little indentions in in the bottom of your foot uh, once you use them. And plus, I have them turned up as far as the uh, pressure it takes to actually activate the, sh activate the brakes. Uh, so they, they play a toll on you after a while. Socks are good. If you got some uh, uh, non, um, if you guys like some pitchiometer pedals uh, on the brake, but once you have load cell pedals on the brake that takes 90 kgs or, or more, uh, it starts to take a toll on you, especially if you're doing some sim racing more than, you know, 30 minutes at a time. So, you get good traction. One, one thing with shoes, I went to shoes because it kept the bottom of my foot from hurting, the bottom of my heel from hurting, from sitting there hitting against the metal plate. Uh, so I went with some shoes. Well, the shoes get in the way uh, of themselves, specifically when you're gassing and braking at the same time. You know, a lot of tennis shoes, the tread kind of comes out and it's, it's grippy on the side as well. This you have a little bit of an indention. You can see the little indentions there, but like my running shoes kind of come outwards more. And <laughs> they they tend to hang up on each other. You know, you go hit the brake and you're hitting that little bottom lip of your shoe and and, and gassing at the same time. I guess it makes a good heel toe in some in some cases, but not when I'm going the other way. Uh, so being a little bit thinner, which I haven't tried these on yet, so I don't know how good they're gonna feel on my foot because I Generally wear a little bit wider shoe. These are size 11s, but uh, we'll see when I try them on. I haven't tried them on yet, but uh, they should fit to size. We'll see. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of break-in period, but yeah, that's why. That's one reason why. So protect your protect your your bottom of your foot. Protect your heel. A little bit thinner, uh, so it's easier to drive. Put your feet closer together without hanging up on each other. The other thing is, instead of you, when you're, when you're getting, you notice when you gas with a chinny shoe on, you gas, 
you tend to push your foot back and then you have to pick up again. You gas and then it starts to slide back away again. Pick up again. What well, kinds of pain? And especially if you have one that's a straight bottom as opposed to around it like this, it just digs in and it, it really starts to slide across the uh, kick plate. So being this is round, it should just roll just nice and easily with that. So I'm uh, looking forward to experiencing that as well. So that's another reason. So there's a few pros uh, of why. Cons really, only con, well there's really no con as far as buying these particular shoes I see as far as actually using them for sim racing because they're so inexpensive. I think they were 40, what are they, 44 bucks or something, something like that. Uh, but when you go to the website, you sign up, email, you get 10% off right away. So not bad. Uh, so for the money, not bad at all. I've seen some other sim racing shoes on the market. There's a couple other ones out there. And they look like sim racing shoes. They don't look like something you could wear to a, a race, to the track, and walk around in the paddock with and, 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 and without people laughing at you. So, or get up and go to the door with a pizza with, with goofy looking sim racing shoes on. So, these, uh, these look to look like any other shoe, really. Except they have the purpose of, of being a driving shoe. So, uh, should work good. We'll see uh, in action. I'm going to put them on the rig and, and run them through the paces on a few few laps and give you my impressions of that after, after I get done. But until then, I just want to give you a, an unboxing, which I don't do a lot of unboxings, but I thought this was packaged so well. Uh, I'll let you see it. And uh, you get to kind of see what I see. So, uh, looks good, all in all. Nice. Those are the reasons, they gave you the reasons why you would go with a sim racing shoe. Uh, seems pretty stiff there, I actually like that. Uh, shouldn't be too, uh, shouldn't move on you too much as far as it should. I'm, think, I'm thinking right now, you know, walking around outside and stuff with them. You know, is it going to be comfortable to walk in and stuff? So, we'll see. I'll try them out as well uh, for that and give you the feedback on that too. But... All in all, that's, that's the reason why. And we're gonna take them over to the rig, try them out. I'll give you my final thoughts on them. So let's get on over to the rig and then we'll continue the video with some uh, play time. All right.
final thoughts on these uh, Goodyear Ori E uh, shoes, sim racing shoes. Uh, they're kind of catered towards the sim racing market. Uh, you know, they've sent them out to various uh, sim racing channels and stuff for reviews. So they are, you know, in that market there. And they're actually a good everyday shoe. Now, uh, just to go over the comfort of it really, really quickly. Being that it's a fin sold shoe, it's, uh, it's not something I would want to go exercise in. I've ran a couple miles with these shoes on a treadmill. If you're at a an incline on the treadmill, say at a at a ten, you know the max setting on the treadmill, uh, when you're striking your foot, it actually it starts hurting to hit the the ball of your foot after a while. So, not something I'd want to go exercise in and do a bunch of squats with and, and running in them. Uh, but they're not, you know, for that purpose. They're not intended for that. They're kind of more intended for an everyday light shoe as well as a driving shoe. Uh, I think driving shoe uh, first. So they do really well with that. Went and ran some errands today with them. Uh, I got a haircut and uh, some other various errands, and they actually work really well. I don't really notice them. Uh, they're very comfortable on. They're light feeling. Uh, as far as walking around town and stuff, they weren't uncomfortable at all, being that it's a thinner sole. Uh, of course, I didn't. It's not like I walked. I don't know, I've probably covered five miles or so today, ten miles maybe walking around uh but yeah it's it's not uh not bad at all actually and uh so they were i was pleasantly surprised being that it's more of a driving shoe that you could actually go to your local track day and, and go watch some racing and show your support with some goodyear type shoes and, and be pretty comfortable while you're out there so i like that uh nice you could uh, feel comfortable, you know, getting in some sim racing before you ran out the door and not have to think like, oh, I got to switch my shoes over to my comfortable walking shoes or, or tennis shoes. You know, as long as you weren't going to exercise and you just throw these bad boys on and go out and, and uh, handle your day. So it's good. It's not just, uh, you can justify it with your uh, significant other that you're not just having shoes for your sim racing hobby, that you can actually use them for everyday shoes as well. Uh, I know it was, I know my wife was like, you bought shoes just to race on your sim rig. Really? Yeah, I got that. <laughs> but <laughs> luckily I have a very understanding wife and uh, she knows my obsession with with uh, racing and, and sim racing as well. So anyway, uh, not only that, they look kick ass actually. Uh, the logo on the back, I mean, it's just like this fat tire back here and uh good gear on the bottom so th they look cool i mean if you're a gearhead you're gonna love these uh they they look nice like i said they get black after a while the white on the bottom will get dirty so you can tell i did use them uh, out on the streets not just saying it uh but yeah they they look good now going to the sim racing aspect of it as far as using them for sim racing we're good i was pleasantly surprised now i got used to running with some thicker sole tennis shoes and uh where the bottom of the sole was a lot thicker than this and they actually took a while to get used to driving but my feet were hurting in socks too much to to not uh, get used to it so going to these were almost like stepping back down into a sock now a sock of course is a lot more pliable um you know easier to move your articulate your foot around in being that it has no hard bottom where these have a hard bottom so these, of course, protect my feet, and they're thin enough that uh, I was able to modulate the throttle and brake uh, with precision, and uh, precision like you would for with a sock uh, to me. So I like that a lot, and uh, very comfortable at the same time. I didn't get hot with them or anything, even though there's not any like holes in them. To, uh, well, yeah, there's no holes. There's some imitation-looking holes right there. Uh, get that in focus, but they're not holes in there, but yeah, they were surprisingly uh, I didn't get hot in them at all. So that was good and it's it's summertime still. So yeah in Texas, no doubt anyway uh, As far as of course using them. I did also notice uh, You'll notice in the video. I did stick shift. So I was operating the clutch and and uh, doing some uh, toe heel action with the brake and, and the uh, throttle uh, Worked fine for that. I do notice, you know, you tend to strike it around here. I was wondering if I, I, I had to look down to see, was I hitting it around here, you know, because they're, they're uh, hard enough rubber that you don't really, 
it doesn't hurt your feet or anything if you hit your throttle arm or anything you're not quite hitting your throttle uh, plate uh, there so but you hit around this area here I notice I do um, it'd be nice to, this should make this should make some throttle plates with longer um, uh, throttle plates to cover the arm itself so you don't end up kind of hitting the arms as well but it has nothing to do with the shoe but anyway just noticing where I hit on the shoe uh, the shoe didn't give and I was able to um, uh, blip the throttle a lot easy or easy you know easy enough uh, for a shoe actually better than with a fixed old shoe had a little bit more control so I like that also did not have that ratcheting action like I was talking about uh, when you're on the throttle uh, it's not like you had to pick up your foot and it end up sliding. You know, a straight edge tennis shoe uh, tends to, tends to not get any grip because you have just such a, just one line of contact with the surface uh, that you don't have enough surface contact. So you're just going to slide across the plate. Uh, being that this is rounded, you just articulate around it. So that's that's really good. Uh, so I like that. Very handy for sim racing. Comfortable enough to use for everyday shoes. Uh, so you. <laughs> You can get some dual purpose out of it and, and uh, hopefully not get your uh, significant other mad at you for spending 40 bucks on some shoes just for sim racing. <clears throat> I digress. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like them. They're must, they're must have for sim racing addicts out there, I think. Uh, they look a lot better than, than the competition has out there, I think. And uh, they they feel nice on your feet. Now, just to point out, this is leather here. This is leather up here. And of course, a leather uh, tongue on here. This here is kind of like the pleather. Looks kind of like a tire, you know, uh, synthetic leather stuff. But uh, feels nice, actually. Not bad at all. That's about it for these shoes. You know, it's, if I had to rate them. Uh, I'd probably give them be, a, be a nine, nine out of ten if I had to rate these, um, just because nothing's perfect, so I can't give it a ten, right? But they're pretty dang close uh, for price. You can't beat it. Uh, you know what? I don't even want to put a, a rating on it. Nine out of ten. That, I mean, I'm almost thinking that's actually too low. I'd give this a ten out of a ten. So whether I uh, will just rate it as is it a buy or or pass it up. Uh, this is a buy. Uh, I would buy these for sim racing. I have obviously did, but I would recommend them to others that want to sim race uh, in some shoes and not uh, wear out the balls of their feet and, and the heels of their feet uh, sim racing around. And plus not look like, look silly uh, walking up to the door to get pizza or, or running outside to go run some errands. So yeah, it's a good, good, uh, good shoe, good all around shoe, as well as a great driving shoe. I also enjoy driving with them too, just to note there hence they are driving shoes and they look cool anyway hope you enjoyed this review i think i covered everything showed you the, them in action talked about why you'd have sim racing shoes and uh and they have multiple purposes as well so hope you enjoyed it until next time we'll catch you on the track i'm out